All right, so brace yourself for this story. Uh, we've all heard of uh, turning insects into snacks, uh, like chocolate-covered grasshoppers, for example. Okay, one Valley family just found a way to, to fry up one of our biggest fears, scorpions. And apparently, Jeff Van Zandt is now auditioning to become <laughs> a TV chef for Arizona's family. And, and I don't know what the verdict's going to be on this one, Jeff. So how did it taste? Ew. Uh, you know what? I didn't give it a try. I just couldn't get myself to actually try this thing. It looked crispy, but it's still a scorpion, and that just makes me cringe even thinking about it. So this family says that they go out at night with their trusty black light and go look for a tasty snack. All right, Miles, come here. I need your help, buddy. Let's do this. The Malls family prepares for a midday snack. Ah, oh, here we go. Perfect, perfect. Look at this. A little bit of breadcrumbs here. On the menu, scorpion. You kind of freeze them to immobilize them and kind of just put them out of their misery. Preparation is key. Although we do cut off the stinger because I can't, can't imagine that would be fun having stuck in your tongue or something like that. So, okay. <gasps> for flavor. Now let's get some breadcrumb action going. There we go. Off the fryer. There we go. Okay. All right. That scorpion's cooking, buddy. From the fryer to plate in a minute and a half, four-year-old Miles eats up. Bread and eggs. It's a different kind of snack. Believe it or not, it's this four-year-old's idea to eat them. It's not like I got them licking nine-volt batteries or riding around on my lawnmower in the backyard. So at night they hunt, collect, right and cook. There. I couldn't, I couldn't chew it, so I swallowed it whole, and I could feel every pointy leg and every claw as it kind of lodged its way slowly down my throat. I had to swallow five or six times. The family are urban farmers. They've got chickens for fresh eggs. You want to let them out, Miles? So why not try something new? They could be as nutritious as Twinkies, as for all I know. But Definitely not for the faint-hearted. Watching them wiggle and stuff is what gets me. <laughs> Um, I say it gives me the heebie-jeebies. I just cringe hearing that idea of it going down your throat. When I heard that, it just makes my spine tingle. Now, if you are planning on giving this a go, make sure you do a lot of research before cooking these Take little the two guys. Box. guys back We've to got you. Heather Moore gagging uh, <laughs> right now, as you just described that. We saw that Jeff, first off, the babies, the babies on the back of that scorpion. So, I know. so gross. But, but Jeff, um, I think the obvious question is: Everybody want, I, at least I want to know, are they no, no longer like venomous or poisonous uh, uh. once they're fried? So, is it actually safe to eat? So they are safe to eat. You got to cut off the tail first off, the little, the uh, the, uh, the, the very end of it. You have to cut that yeah. off, but the stinger, yeah. So then when you throw it into the pan, it turns out that the venom actually coagulates. So, okay. uh, so it actually be makes it, uh, it renders it safe. But, you know, that's why I said you got to do a lot of research when you actually look uh, into something like this. Jeff, I don't know about this. And then frying <laughs> them alive, I mean, that was just gnarly. That's the fun part. Uh, <clears throat> Well, that's why you, know, I, that's hope why you I, I, you, I hope you brought some back. I hope you're going to bring a few back. I hope you bring a few back. We'll have somebody you know, like draw the short stick. Around. Tomorrow night's editorial I meeting. I around and All I was right. not going to do it. Our producer's like, get out. Get out. We're done. We're like scaring everybody <laughs> Bye, tonight. Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> uh, well, you should know that family reached out to us about scorpion cooking after seeing meteorologist Ian Schwartz's blog about the bugs on our website. You can check out all of our meteorologist blogs. Just go to azfamily.com slash weather blog. And speaking of